Spider-Man and hot chocolate. Guarantee of at least an ounce piece. Hey, you holding up? I should have stuck to my guns and stayed away. <sighs> he packed my gear, Tony. Yeah, certainly seems pretty serious. Seriously nasty getting Scarlet to do his dirty work for him. You don't know that. Oh, yeah? You didn't see that little witch standing there gloating. No, you're right. Craig's a lot of things, but he's not cruel. Still, uh, moving him out's a pretty strong message. He's never been this extreme before. He's punishing me, that's what he's doing. And if he'd just stop avoiding me for five minutes, then we could just talk about it. We could thrash it out and put the whole miserable business behind us. Are you sure that's what Craig wants? We always sort it out. We make each other's lives hell, and then we make up. It's what we do. We need each other, Tony. You don't go through what we've gone through if you're not in it for the long haul. We need to fix this. I shouldn't have lost my call. That was wrong. Are you still speaking to me? Yeah. You still speaking to me? Yeah, of course I am. I'm so sorry, Dad. I didn't mean to have messed things up, honestly. I thought it was what you wanted. Yeah, well, things have been pretty up and down lately. It's not your fault. So you still love her? Well, it doesn't really count for much at this stage of the proceedings. I don't know about you, but I've run out of energy for drama. New era, eh? Just you and me. Yeah, I love this show. And uh, six months in the hospital in London, a hundred hour week sometimes. Wow, wouldn't leave a lot of time for golf. Ah, uh, yes, I had to practice putting in the corridors during the night shift. I used to drive the charge nerves mad. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Dr. Weston, I insist on buying you a beer, sir. Ah, I'm not interrupting. Very important for me to meet. <laughs> Pull up a few. Daniel, three more. Right, gentlemen, we now have an official quorum. You can start dishing the dirt. What do you want to know? Oh, usual stuff. Who's doing who? Who's missing out? Oh, which reminds me. Nurses. If I was going to pinch some from another department, who would be the pick of the crop? Uh, Alice Piper, Tony Jeffries, both really good. Mm -hmm. But are they bearable to look at? Mark must think so. He's dated both of them. <laughs> really? Dr. Weston, the hospital at Lafario. <laughs> Don't look at me. He's the one with the revolving bedroom door. Ah, yes, but I get my dates outside the hospital. Yeah. You, my brother, make things far too difficult for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I see. So who's the lucky lady? Or is lady too loose a term? My lips are sealed. Justine Jones. Damn, you're good. <laughs> you two in the same room. I could smell the pheromones at a hundred paces. Nice work, by the way. Last I heard, she was still hitched. Still is? Yeah, what can I say? Uh, I like to live dangerously. <laughs> Danger has its own rewards, I suppose. All that sneaking around must add a certain spark in the sack. Certainly looks as though she knows a way around a mattress. <laughs> and you are trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Just joshing with you, mate. Be honest, though. Older woman, starved of affection. Betsy's gagging for it. Ah, oh, I suppose you could say that. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah! Now that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Taz. Sorry I'm late. Mm. Nice. So, how was your day, Libby? Well, actually, Tanya, it was pretty damn fantastic. Have you ever moved since this morning? Yes. When? When Mark came over. Why? Are you okay? Yes. He was just visiting. Oh, a social visit. Do you think he's keen again? No. Hardly surprising when you're looking like that. You really should put those in the wash. He's seeing someone else. Who? Oh, no one told me. Like I'd know. It's probably nothing to worry about. At least someone is lucky in the romance department. I think I might have scored myself an HOD. <laughs> I've got a good feeling about this dance. A really good feeling. <laughs> but seriously, private practice is a mugs game. It's all rent and wages, receptionists with facial hair. <laughs> you need the weight of some serious money behind you if you're going to be taken seriously. Mm. Am I right, TK? I hope so. Of course I'm right. Mm. Oh. 
girlfriends here, Wesley. Better invite her over. You want to grab some dinner or something? Oh, no, no, come on. We're celebrating my first day. It'd be rude not to join us, wouldn't it, darling? Thank you, hello. Don't. Come on, sweetheart. Got to tell him sometime. Tell me what? That we have something in common, Dr. Weston. <laughs> Seems we're both being screwed by my wife. Well, the afternoon show has a medical panel in this afternoon and they're discussing various aspects of fertility at four. <laughs>